Hello, Carrie here. Today I'm going to be doing some more stamping. So this is part two um, of the stamping and also printmaking at home because this is slightly more printmaking than stamping, but they're both the same. So the papers I'm using are from this book, Art Doodle Love, um, which I haven't used in the way it was meant to be used. It meant to journal in it, but I had bought it thinking it was about doodling and it's going to give me some ideas, but I love the papers. So I've been just stealing pages out of it. I'm going to just look at them. The colours are beautiful, right up my street. Look at that. That's so nice. Look at that. I'm going to use that in something. I can see I've already taken bits out here and there. I don't know what I did with that. I took a square out, obviously. Oh, I think I know why. I'm doing a colour thing. So it's got some lovely pages in. So um, I'm not using it the way it was meant to be used, but I'm getting a lot of use out of it. So here's some pages I've torn out of the book that I'm going to be printing on. And I'm going to be using my jelly plate to roll the paint. I'm just using acrylic paint. And here's my roller. It's a messy roller, but the good thing about acrylics is you can just soak it in water and the paint, paint will peel off. You can't ill treat them with proper printing inks. And so the first one I'm going to use is this roll. This is anti-slip mat, which I've purchased for my sewing machine treadle, which wanders about underneath the table. I've got laminate flooring and it, it tends to wander away from my foot and, and I stretch and stretch. So I'm going to put that underneath. But I've decided to cut a bit off because you get loads on the roll. You get two meters, which is six feet. And it was only 249. So I've cut a bit off to make a stamp with. You can see I've already um, been experimenting with it. I tried this out last night. Had a little bit of a dress rehearsal. So here's that lovely stuff. It's just gorgeous. Look at these lovely squares. So we're going to print that first. So I'm going to put some colour on. Uh, something that will contrast well with the colours on this. So maybe a blue. So I'm just stretching over to get my paint. There we go. Pop some blue on there. This is just primary blue. And roll it out. I don't think I've quite got enough. You need it quite juicy for printmaking, I find. So just add a bit more. That should do it. This is part printmaking, part stamping, and part jelly printing. Because <laughs> I'd use, um, I do some jelly printing as well with what I get left over. So just press it down into the jelly uh, jelly print, jelly plate, <laughs> and then press down on the paper like you would any other stamp. I have to be careful it's not down there. Look at that. It's just so good, isn't it? I'm going to do another bit. Love it. I know I'm going to use this in various things. Look at that. Isn't that great? I suppose you could cut out little squares and have that on your um, base. There's plenty of things you can do with it. But that's just the start. That's just me getting an idea. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a print from the jelly plate onto some tissue where you can see I experimented last night. See there's a little bit of the pink squares on there. So I'm going to get a build up of layers which I quite like. And I can use these papers in collage. So pressing down firm and this removes all the pain so look at that oh lovely that's so good so i can use definitely use that in something i'm just using tissue and here's another one now this isn't my idea i'm going to link at the bottom the person who gave me this idea what you do is you soak some cardboard in water then you can peel the top layer off and this makes a lovely lined print so i'm going to roll out some paint I take some prints. This time I'm going to use magenta, but it'll mix with the blue. So it'll be kind of a dark purple by the time I've finished. Rolling that out. Oh, I love doing this. <laughs> it takes me back to my printmaking days. So keep rolling it so it's nice and even. Lovely. Nice deep purple I've got there. So obviously you just pre uh, press that down onto the plate and then onto your paper. You could put um, the cardboard on a firm background like some wood or as I've used the coasters, which I buy cheaply when they're on offer. And criss you can crisscross it and you can put it on other, on other layers. 
that's already been printed before or you could use it say if you're doing a journal and you do like a tag and the back of it is plain and you want lines so you can write on you could do neat neat lines that way as well a bit like the elastic band thing that I did in the previous stamping at home video and this is where I've used the lines before in a painting so um, it could be used in various ways Just as in some more bits here and there. It's very effective. I hope this has given you some ideas. Oh, and the other thing you can do is when you tear off the paper, you don't have to tear off the paper complete top. You can just wet bits of the cardboard and just tear it off so it's kind of grungy. I like that effect as well. I've seen that done before. So I'm just going to uh, take a print from the jelly jelly plate. Onto some tissue. And I've got a few tissues that I was doing last night. I was experimenting last night, so I'm going to do it on this one. This is that tissue with sparkles in. I can just see them sparkling there. I got quite a lot of it, so I can use it for this sort of thing. And that's the print I get from that. I mean, I love that. That's going to be great in collage. Ooh, very nice. Right, the other method so that's the two methods and the third method is oh i found the label for this i was looking for that a minute ago and it was right in front of me all the time this is the anti-slip mat it was just two pound 49 which is a steal it's just so cheap for six foot it's amazing and that was from b m stores i so said that's a cheap shop in the uk and now the other method of printmaking is uh pdt printing just potato printing to you and I. PDT stands for pommeted hair. Potato printing. I mean, we've all done this as children, but um, it can be used as a more sophisticated printmaking method, depending how complex you are. I tried this vegetable, tried this cabbage stalk. I was cooking some red cabbage yesterday, and I thought the stalk might print, but I tried it last night, and it didn't work out too well. <clears throat> which is a bit disappointing because <laughs> I've seen people do that and it looks quite good but mine didn't so I'm just going to cut some uh, slices out of this potato so I want little um, lines so just um, sorry that's slightly off screen just about see me doing it at the bottom I wasn't thinking I think eventually I remember and move a bit further up I'm just using a kitchen knife because I can't find any of my craft knives. They're buried. I've got such a mess on my desk. Look, you can see it at the top there. It's a terrible mess. I need to do some tidying up just so I can do some art. Do you get like that? Do you end up with a bit of a mess? Is it just me? I end up with less and less space to work in and I can't find stuff. So there we go, I've cut out those bits and I'm just going to put it down on the cardboard to dry it out a little bit because it gets a bit too wet when I've just cut it. I'm not going to find a sheet to print, so I'm going to print on this one. So again, I'm going to roll out some paint onto my jelly plate. Just wiping some of the colour off. This piece of cardboard that I'm using um, as my background um, I quite like messing it up with bits of paint and eventually I'll have a nice piece of cardboard abstract art there. So I'm just rolling this out so it's nice and even again. So I've used crimson and there's still some more of the purple on the um, roller so it's going to be a dark crimson. Whoops. See I need an anti-slip mat, so I need to get myself an anti-slip mat for that don't I? <laughs> right so I'm just going to press that down and Easter eggs. <laughs> Happy Easter, everybody. If you celebrate. It's a funny Easter this year, isn't it? It would be nice to be able to spend it with family, but unfortunately not. But I am looking forward to tomorrow night listening to the Bocelli concert in Milan. That'll be my way of celebrating Easter. 
I'm really looking forward to that. Like a bit of a jelly. There we go. So I'm just trying to use up as much of the paint and fill as much of the page up as I can. And here they are. I love them. <laughs> Don't know what I'm going to do with those. Gorgeous, aren't they? It's quite interesting the way it's made um, the marks of sort of the outline. So now I'm going to take a print. This is some printing I did yesterday. So I did the triangle one last night. I'm just going to press that down. I like layers building up. So, ooh, that looks nice. On, looks nice on the back actually. I'm going to clean my plate. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, that's great. That's complex. I do love jelly pl jelly plate printing. It's just such fun. I could spend hours doing this, but I've got other things I need to be doing today, unfortunately. <laughs> so I have to stop here soon. So these are the prints I've had, I've made. Very simple. Three simple methods. I know so many more. I might be doing a th part three at some stage. So it's this, uh, the, what's this, the potato prints, the mat, and the, where's the cardboard? There we go, the piece of cardboard. Those are three simple methods. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I have. Bye.